Hi all, welcome to the first part of the video lecture on physical data organization. See, uh, so, so far we gone through the uh, concepts like how this conceptual uh, database schema will look like and how it can be mapped to a logical schema. So these are all the things we gone through. So for example, the DR model, so which is going to give you the conceptual representation of the uh, database and then you uh, with some formal way we map the DR model to relational model and that is going to be a representation model for the same right and now it is ready to implement and uh, you go on through the SQL queries and also and you know how to write the queries by which you can create a database as well as populate it with the data and how we can query some information as needed right so everything we go on through now we are going to see how these things are happening in the hard disk right how things are getting stored correctly in the secondary memory so that is going to support this huge database right so that so different aspects of this is what we are uh, will be seeing here so how we can place file records on this so some of the ba basic terminologies you know mm, if you are looking at so this database you can see it's a collection of or a set of records right and these records uh, if it is a relational model you can see these records are nothing but the um, each row of the particular rel uh, relational uh, data model so as it is set of tuples so they are nothing but the tuples right now these records together will form a file when it comes to storage right and data is usually stored in the form of records and the records are related that you already know so we are not going to just you know, the random collection of information we can't call it as a database right so it, is, it should be related so th there should be it should convey some meaning right so for example employee if you're uh, looking at employee database it is um, a collection of records right that form that employee database file and it contains uh, details of the employee like uh, name of the employee birth date salary etc so so that, that about it so all these things are related to a particular employee entity so that that about it yes collection of field names and their corresponding attribute value constitutes a record type and record format etc so the type you know string um, care work care like that the type will change depending on the type of information we want to store and also their record uh, format will also it, it may be a fixed length record variable length record right, like that and if you're looking at data type this is something we already explored in sql also the type of the data right so associated with each field and um, the data type uh, is usually uh, any standard data type you can think of for example it can be numeric data type like integer long integer float etc or it can be care particularly fixed length as well as variable uh, length uh, character data types are there boolean can be there like that and uh, two different uh, data types that is specific to this database application is like binary large object as well as this character large object so this is for uh, storing so, say huge images and all which are represented by means of sequence of bits right so here uh, this b l or b binary large object is a data type that can that can support uh, some mega bits of information right uh, for uh, corresponding to that particular field similarly this character large object can support some huge text so what is happening is typically uh, you know when you are storing this record in the um, secondary memory as a file uh, for other data type the uh, particular field will be given some space also for storing the corresponding value but when it comes to certain uh, large object data type like a BL, uh, the binary large object or character large uh, large object and that time uh, so in the record uh, within the file we typically maintain a pointer and that pointer will be pointed into some pool of memory area where this information will be kept for if it is a collection of bits or uh, some collection of characters so that will be because we can't predict the size in advance right so it can can be um, maybe it, it may be optional even it may not contain any bits or character or it may contain some giga or mega uh, bits of information or mega um, or giga characters right and that time it should be kept somewhere else in the secondary memory and it's better to keep a pointer to that pool of memory where this uh, uh, large objects are kept uh, in the actual record so this is typically how we are dealing with them so this is what is written there so this data item is typically stored separately from its record in a pool of disk block and a pointer to this is included in the record okay fine so this is how we are dealing with such uh, large data objects now 
the files can be of fixed length or variable lengths that you can predict as to the so some of certain fee fields may be optional or you know care and var care if it is care it is fixed length data type where var care is variable length so when it comes to because of some data types or uh, because of this multi valued attribute if it is allowed uh, or uh, because of some optional field like that there are many reasons that makes the records variable length so, and if it is a fixed length then no worries right as you i can expect the storage will be straightforward when it comes to fixed length record but when it comes to variable length record uh, we uh, will suffer slightly uh, regarding its storage because we can't predict the size in advance right so the different records are of different size of so where it is starting where it is ending L like that we have to keep some extra meta information for keeping them in the storage so why records can be of variable length is something i already told you so it can be because of the data type itself so that is the first reason okay so just uh, go through this the file records uh, uh, are of same record type but uh, the fields are of varying size because of the varying length field in the sense the data type piece of uh, something it's supporting variable length field and accordingly uh, it can happen or another reason is like the file records are of same record type but the number of fields may uh, may have multiple values right sorry but one or more fields may have multiple values uh, like that a single field can have multi value because it is supporting multi valued attribute on the back end but you know when it comes to relation model and all if you are mapping a relational data model it will not result into something like this because relation model is not going to support any multi valued attribute right now another reason is like uh, the uh, file records are of the same record type but uh, one or more fields are optional so optional in the sense sometimes you may mention this value sometimes it may be absent in that time uh, the record size will vary accordingly right now the file itself may contain um, this um, some combination of uh, different records for example uh, we are basically having student record and within al along with each student record we are keeping this grade uh, report also so um, maybe uh, whether uh, some students uh, may not have this grade report and uh, maybe if it uh, is uh, in some higher semester and all the grade report the size will vary uh, like that okay so when you mix different information together so typically we can't expect the record to be of fixed length okay so now this is how you can store a typical fixed length record in the sense the size is predictable uh, for example here uh, first i have the name attribute and which is having uh, the characters are stored from po say position number 1 to position number 30 okay in the sense the name may be of length some 30 character like that so each position could be can store some uh, own byte of information like that okay hope you understand right yeah now from the location number uh, 31 onwards i am starting the next field that is social security number so it is uh, going up to some 39 maybe some on to 9 9 uh, so it, it could be a 9 character uh, length the fixed uh, data type similarly salary job code department the higher date and all all these are fixed fields and uh, we we can predict their size in advance so that we can say that this particular record is extending from position number 1 to some 68 and following that so to uh, maybe some 71 bytes like that they are giving okay so whatever it is so so that's that is fixed so we don't have any confusion like uh, mm, what about the size so you know always in the uh, secondary memory uh, if we start storing a file say from the address 1000 then 1000 to uh, another 71 bytes will occupy the first record then the next 71 bytes is going to uh, occupy the second record so like that so the access everything everything is tra straightforward right in an one to one correspondence you can try say 1 to 30 it is 9 31 to uh, some 39 it is social security number like that but when it comes to variable length you can't say that the particular name attribute is going from 1 to some 30 or it it, it may be some lesser value greater value you know hope you remember that uh, uh, care and uh, bar care data type so here it could be the care data type that's why it's a fixed length but here it is variable length because it, it may be work care data type so what we can see here is uh, the uh, name of a particular person smith john and uh, here the length is something like uh, uh, five letters six and um, some ten letters but uh, some other person may have a name of a different length so we don't know from where to where this particular field is expanding so we have to keep a clear separator like this so whenever we have this variable length the field you have to maintain such a separator character that could be something which is not used in the actual uh, 
um, field value okay so you have to use uh, some special symbol for that so and you should ensure that this is not going to come in the original uh, character formation and if it is coming there you can think of something like escape sequence and all but anyway uh, that will create more complications it's better uh, to avoid that particular special symbol in the formation of any care and all so that kind of restrictions will be there uh, in the software side and similarly then we have social security number salary and job code and fortunately these three attributes of are a fixed line so we don't have to differentiate them in the sense of whenever this special character is seen we know a new field is starting that is social security number um, so and and you know from told to as you already know it is of some nine length or something so uh, told to some nine length up to say 20 and all Mm, it is our social security number then position 21 to what is length of salary accordingly it is uh, salary field and then 25 to like that's job code okay so that about it now uh, maybe uh, when that fixed length ends they are onwards the variable length so department 9 could also be variable length so again we are keeping that uh, marker so where that particular field is ending we are keeping it so something like that so typically we use this kind of separator and as well as we can use some record separator also if you want so here the last separator can act as a record separator also i mean that department uh, following that that special symbol okay so that about it now let's uh, see one more uh, representation uh, something like this so here uh, I, I just want to ask you why it, uh, this kind of a um, storage uh, is needed here what we are doing is you know along with each attribute value we are associating the attribute name also so here you know name is the attribute name uh, and this Smith John is uh, particular attribute value corresponding to this attribute name right so along with the each attribute value we are associating that the common type or the common attribute name uh, for that similarly this is social security number and this is department so like that you are mentioning and it is very clear from the same example you can see that uh, this uh, social security number is there the salary as well as this job code these fields are absent here so it could be because these fields are optional in the original database okay so in the original database when you created uh, the database in the using sql and all you mentioned the salary as well as job data as optional so for a particular uh, employee mm, these fields are uh, not available for the time being but uh, we have a name social security number and department for him so because they are mandatory fields okay so what we can do is if you are following this kind of a notation i mean something uh, like this kind of a uh, i mean this like this figure b if you are um, using something like that the difficulty we are having is by default we know whenever we have this special symbol it is first field followed that uh, second field third field fourth field so like that we are counting and in between two fields are absent so it will correctly interpret the first field and second field and the third field it may interpret like uh, the salary field if you are not associating the attribute name but when it uh, when it comes to uh, this kind of an association you are saying clearly that the name attribute is having this value social security number is having this value and department attribute is having this value so it is very uh, clear that the salary as well as job got those attributes are missing they may be optional but if you are not giving this kind of an association when when it is re uh, read by the computer it may misunderstand Na smith john as name of the person and one two three four etc nine as social security number and computer it could take as a salary because next it is expecting the salary field but the system don't know that particular field is optional it may not there or how it will guess whether it is salary or job good or a department so that kind of a confusion we have and it we can avoid it by uh, having this kind of a um pairing okay so this is important but you know uh, when it comes to storage for this kind of a pairing uh, we have to uh, take extra space because everywhere and also there is another uh, special symbol you can see which is used to separate the attribute name with the attribute value so that is important because this is attribute name then where this attribute field value is starting right so this is going to act as some another special symbol so act as a separate and that is goes um, so we have such a constraint we have to uh, um, identify two such separate one for separating one field from another and another for separating the attribute value uh, from the type or something okay uh, and we may use more separators also maybe if it is multi-valued attribute and all uh, corresponding to a field if it is supported by the database so for separating one uh, attribute from attribute value from another attribute value corresponding to a particular attribute field 
uh, we have to use another uh, separator symbol also and maybe for uh, separating one record from another also you could use another symbol so like there are some special uh, meta symbols we need uh, anyways uh, and also this last notation is very important because uh, when it comes to optional data this is going to save the space but otherwise if you if it is something uh, like the first case or second field if all the fields are uh, mandatory and all you don't have to go for this kind of a notation because it is going to take extra space for storing the attribute name but when it comes to uh, for example um, some maybe employee data or some other um, entity data we are storing and there are around 100 fields for example and out of them some uh, 40 to 50 fields are of optional so you, you can predict right so almost half of the fields are optional in the sense suppose it is there you have to deal with them if it is not there you you one option you have is like uh, whenever such optional fields are missing if you want you can simply fill those place with some special symbol or some null okay so that is also possible. but it is actually wastage of space right but if you are doing this kind of an association now you have to think about whether uh, associating like this or uh, filling that optional field with some special symbol is going to save the space accordingly you have to decide you have two option with you okay so that about it so this is also one way of representing data so fixed length record uh, as you already know the size is uh, fixed and all it is very straightforward you can just understand from the figure explanation of the figure only that i already explained then variable length record uh, we have a special symbols uh, it can be anything so here they are mentioning uh, some symbols like uh, something like this or this or this oh it can be anything okay for uh, as a separator uh, to terminate uh, um, variable length the field uh, like that at different places we have to use and records of optional field you know so this is uh, one way that we can uh, think of like uh, field name and field value okay and there also we are using some uh, separators so here uh, totally we saw three types of separator uh, we could um, so separating field name from field value and separating one field from the next field like that okay so and this is also another way what you can do instead of using that field uh, name completely you can assign some code for that for example name let it be having a code say c1 something like that this second field uh, c2 c3 like that if i am assigning a code for each and every attribute where attribute name in an one-to-one -one correspondence instead of using the attribute name completely you, i can use code so that it could save that space because the deeper storing department and simply uh, storing a code is a c3 or a c5 it is right uh, like that it is going to save the space right similarly salary job code everywhere you assign for each attribute name is some small code and use that code then separator then the attribute value so that kind of a notation also you can go for so that is so something like here we are mentioning the attribute name or the field name here it is field type so we are assigning some code for that yeah repeating field is something uh, the last point uh, repeating in the sense the multi-valued attributes so here they are talking about the multi-valued attribute and you can de deal with them also uh, say using some other separator like that yeah that about it uh, thanks for watching uh, see you in the next video